next part of this is to actually create and code the health bar. So we're going to come down here and we are going to paint a new sprite. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to set my fill to black. I'm going to set my outline to black and I'm going to only make that one. And I am going to create a black bar. And again, we'll kind of mess with our sizing here because one of the things you can always do is shrink it later as we know. So one of the things that might help you is I'm going to actually reset my game. I'm also going to go back to my code and turn the variable of health off. So the spot where I want it to go is clear. And I can go back to costumes. And I actually accidentally made one. I don't want to make another box. I want to move it and kind of set it in place. It doesn't exactly go where I want, but I can always move it there. And as I put it there, you'll notice it kind of goes over there. So I don't want that exactly. I'm going to bring this in a little more. I'm going to bring this up. And I, you might go, oh, gee, that's really small to work with. Remember, down here you have zoom. So you can zoom in and use your sliders here to be looking at it so it's a little easier to work with. I'm going to hit zoom in two more times and move that around so I can work with it here. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this again. But this time I'm going to change my fill color, turn my brightness all the way up, saturation all the way up, and I'm going to find myself a nice green. 40 is probably just about perfect. And this time I'm going to draw the box and I'm going to set it up so I have an even black border around it. So this may take a little messing with, but try to have as much as you can an even border all the way around. If you need to, you might have to grab them by the size to kind of get everything just perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this costume to full. Now what I'm going to do each time is I am going to do my best to approximate about one-fifth or 20% of the bar to reduce it by. So here's my full bar. And as I duplicate it, I'm going to call it health 80 so that I can change the name at the end. I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pointer tool and I'm going to reduce this by about 20%. Probably about somewhere in there. I'm also going to change the fill color to be a little towards the yellowish. Maybe about 10 or more degrees of color change. That's now my 80%. So I'm going to duplicate it again. I call this one Health 60. I'm again going to reduce this. It should just be a little over half, about the same distance as I did before. And I'm again going to make it a little more yellow. I'll actually come back and adjust some colors once I've got everything in. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate one more time. This one becomes 40. We're going to get this down about here-ish. And again, you can kind of perfect these so they look exactly the way you want them to. Duplicate again. This one's going to be health 20. And we're going to get this all the way down like this. Now for health 20, I want this one to be red. So that gets our color all the way to zero. Up here, our color was right about 40, which means that in the middle, this should be about 20 or maybe a little under. I'm going to actually leave it at 
18, actually maybe just a little bit under to get more of the yellow tone. So now if this is 18 and this was 39, I want this color to be kind of in between those. I'm going to come down just a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing here. My color here was like 17 above and 0 below. I'm going to come into that orange category right about 10. So what that will do is nice and bright green full, start to get a little yellow, go full yellow, orange, red, done. Okay, and I've got all the costumes named. So now it's time to code this. By the way, I don't want to leave this as Sprite 1. I'm going to call this Health Bar. Does that make sense as to what it is? Now I'm going to go over to the code. So as I start my code, all of my events are going to start with when I receive, or most of them, are going to start with when I receive reset. So this is going to create our, our current status. So we are going to want it to show because later on we are going to hide it at different times. And then we're going to start a forever loop. And this is where we're going to start to look at what is the status of the bar based on the variable. So to build that, I'm going to grab an if-then loop. I'm going to grab my equals operator. I'm going to grab my health variable. And if health equals 5, I want to put my switch costume to full. I duplicate that. Change this to 4. Costume to health 80. Duplicate. Health to 3. Costume to 60. Duplicate again, health to 2, costume to 40, duplicate again, health to 1, costume to 20, and duplicate one more time, health equals 0. I don't want this to be here anymore, I want it to hide. I want the health bar to go away. We have other factors that then trigger the fact that that is a um, loss of life scenario and resets it. So this should be the one that controls it. I'm also going to want to add two other events that are once I receives. And both of them are going to have hides. And that's once I receive game over or win. So both of those are on there. So I'm going to, st I'm going to start it. I have my health bar. I'm going to come down. Front of the wall, it changes. 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 And then, as you notice, it resets. And I also have a life. If I do that to the point where I lose another one, and my last one, you see it goes game over and everything goes away. That is how I have my health bar. Um, if you notice that other parts of your game stop working, one of the things that you can do is, like I've done here, is put them in a forever loop to make sure that something isn't kicking them out. So if you are troubleshooting things, that's one of the great things you can do. In a future video, we're going to get rid of our last variable and have the cheeses actually count up by showing little small cheese icons underneath our health bar as we collect them.